hello and welcome back to the channel once again the name is guru boy here in today's tutorial we do have in hand techno common 20 right over here being stuck on google account verification so if you do have any device um the techno infinix item you can try this method as it works on most devices like the mtk device so if you have such device you can try this method but here i do have techno common 20 right over here to show you the method that you are going to use in order to remove google account verification on your device so you can see um this device has been locked to google account verification as you can see it says we should um verify our previous pin which we do not know got us to reset our device so um when you to do try to verify with your google account you need to use the old google account which was being associated with the with the phone before hard resetting so move back to wi-fi here is the step that you need to follow carefully when you move to the wi-fi click on the um, keyboard icon change the keyboard to emoji keyboard and now hit on the emoji icon then scroll down to you see more hit on more now move or click on about now hit on terms of usage agreement now here you need to select any test you need to select any test from the um usage agreement now hit on share and choose phonics you need to choose phonics from the um, list now click on test reader agree to phonics terms of usage now in phonics when you have been prompted to update click or uh, close from the update and now move to the home page and now let's search for um palm store type in palm store and now head on search allow if any permission shows up now we first link here on palm store website and now here we need to download any app just hit on any app so head on download and now it says we should open the app head on open and we are taking to the palm store main app so it is not based on web so we are in the main app so um now we can search for the app that we want to download so we are about to download google um sorry guys we have to search for assistive touch for android so you need to type assistive touch for android after typing in the assistive touch for android head on search and now choose the application that i just selected make sure you are downloading the same app head on download and install and wait for it to download and install onto your device so this process should take a few seconds depending on your internet speed well, after installing head on open so when the app is been done downloading click on open and now we are being taken to the assistive touch app so in the app we are going to do a little or uh, we are going to do some customization or settings in the app in order for us to access the app menu so here we select the language that we you prefer to use and now this app comes with ads so we need to watch us now that we are in the app make sure to allow display overlay over other apps make sure you allow any other permission that this um app to pop up to it and from here i will be skipping the ads in order to reduce the video time now click on add and now we scroll through till we see um app drawer and now it should be added to the assistive touch icon so when you do click on the assistive touch for the first time you need to allow system modification for the app now click on it and you see the app drawer click on the app drawer and now you can see the app list now click on settings now in settings we need to move into app management when you do move into app management here on app list and now click on android setup now first up android setup then clear it cache so move into storage and cache now clear it cache then go back then in app list again 
you need to oh sorry in our playlist again you need to scroll down to you see um google play service so when you do see google play service you need to disable the app before for stopping the app so let's disable the app and now let's disable google um play service and for the devices that are unable to access the app management or the app list you can move into your battery lab and then um battery move into battery settings or battery usage here on battery usage and you will see um google play service if you don't see google play service or android setup make sure that you spend much time in your um setup menu you spend at least 10 minutes on this setup menu then you spend another 10 minutes on the um, google account verification menu so that's it after um you get into the um set um wi-fi menu we need to disconnect our device um from wi-fi and reconnect it to the wi-fi menu um, wi-fi network again under the wi-fi menu we need to disconnect from the um connected wi-fi network by clicking on forget on clicking on the wi-fi network and then click on forget network and reconnect to the wi-fi network again and uh, if it takes long for um for the device to proceed after connecting to the wi-fi network then you need to check your um, internet connection and sometimes it does take a little bit of time to skip from the wi-fi menu or the wi-fi connection so just wait and, um, and now we've skipped the wi-fi menu so we can now set up our device and here here is going to be the trick that we are going to use in order to um, unlock our device so if you are enjoying this video make sure to subscribe to the channel and also give a like if you are really enjoying this video also leave a comment if you do have other device that you you need um tutorial for it let me know in the comment section so when you see your device checking for updates and then head back to the just a second click on the app drawer again and now make sure you are able to access the app app menu again now scroll to you see settings head on settings and we are going to enable um google play service move to app list and now scroll to you see um google play service go back scroll to you see google play service in the list here on google play service and now enable google play service so after enabling google play service move back back and for the other devices that are unable to access the app list you can move back to the battery lab battery usage and make sure that you do um, enable the um, google play service over there so you need to spend time in order to um, make the google play service show up so you can see if it shows up you will see the first stop and enable option over there so now let's move back to the checking for service and now we can see we just skip to google service now accept the terms and proceed to set up your device as usual so that's it and a very simple tutorial for you guys on how you can remove google account verification on your device and if you enjoy this video don't forget to leave a like to this video and also leave a comment with other devices that you need google account verification tutorial and that's it for today's tutorial and one thing that you need to know after activating your device successfully you need to um, go to settings and factory reset your device from settings in order for you to be able to install unknown apps from third-party apps so um if you do have um, an apk file that you want to install you will not be able to install if you do not reset your device after the activation of your device so you need to factory reset your device after you've successfully um activate your device so 
that is it for today's tutorial thanks for watching make sure to subscribe to the channel the name is Goroboy peace out